Hi everyone, welcome to the small business interview. Today I'm going to talk about Tommy Gomez, the fishmonger from San Diego. Um, Tommy wasn't able to make it online to chat, but he did send me a message telling me what he's been up to for the last couple months. So I'm going to share my screen. One second. Okay, so here is Tommy Gomez, the fishmonger. He's a highly regarded fifth generation fisherman. Um, he's been in the industry for many years. Uh, he's super knowledgeable. He's fished all over the world. <laughs> um, and he was a crew member of an organization called Joint Ventures. And that's where he analyzed the ways foreign fishing companies um, or foreign fishing vessels harvested seafood. Um, He's received multiple awards from the U.S. government and has multiple publications. If you just Google his name, he is everywhere. By sharing his knowledge to the people online and in person in his cooking classes, uh, he's able, he was able to build a brand for himself and he became a public figure. Eventually, he would become the founder and president of a nonprofit organization called the Collaboration Kitchen where he teaches people how to properly handle seafood and um, again, how to properly cook seafood. Um, and if he raised any money, he would just give it back to those in need. He would donate it to charities. Um, so for 16 years, he worked at a, um, Catalina Offshore Products. Um, this establishment has a seafood education and nutrition center and it houses its own fish market. Uh, Catalina Offshore Products is open to the public, so walk-ins are welcome. You might want to just check their hours for the time being, and of course it's currently led by Tommy Gomez. Besides fishing and cooking lessons, Tommy has an important message he tries to bring to the community, um, and that is he wants us to know seafood has changed drastically over the years, we should be very careful nowadays um, because there's a lot of processing that takes place between retrieving the seafood from the ocean and um, getting it to the grocery store. There are coloring and chemicals being added to seafood to keep it looking fresh. So it's kind of like seafood in disguise. Um, that's not how fresh seafood should be. Um, he says, uh, you know, there's a lot of fish that are fished here and then they're sent overseas to be processed and then they're sent back again to be packaged and then shipped to grocery stores. And like, by then, how fresh is your seafood? So um, he wants us to keep in mind that if we're gonna get seafood, try to get it all natural. Wild seafood is all natural versus manufactured farm seafood. Pro our proteins here are heavily manufactured. Cows, pigs, chickens, um, they're all kept in massive farms and they're force fed and they're given drugs. Anyway, Tommy says that wild seafood is what you should always try to get. Um, and if, when you get seafood, he says, don't forget to use it as soon as possible. I quote him, I mean, this stuff don't get better with age like beef. <laughs> very true. Um, one more very important thing that Tommy wants us to know is that um, we should be proactive and trying to be informed. We need to know where our seafood is coming from because seafood is notorious for the bait and switch where you go out to buy sea bass, you think you're getting sea bass, but it really just might be cod. Those with dietary restrictions need to be especially on alert. For example, it wouldn't really bode well for someone who doesn't eat beef or pork for religious reasons um, to go out and get fish that they're gonna eat and the fish have, has, was fed beef or pork products. That would be horrible. Antibiotics um, that are not EFA approved are also being used in our food, so he wants us to be aware of that, try to avoid that. And anyway, if you, if you wanna know where your seafood is coming from, if you want to get seafood from a reliable source, the best way to get 
all this information to get good seafood is, of course, your local fishmonger. Um, so what's Tommy doing at the moment? At the moment, he's not fishing. Um, he's not fishing at all. He says he's actually helping local fishermen move the catch they bring to San Diego. And uh, he's helping them sell their seafood at the market, um, which is great. He's bringing the stories of these fishermen to the locals. He's introducing them and their families to the community. Um, people are getting quality seafood and um, like straight from the direct source, they're building new lasting relationships. And sales, um, he says, Tommy didn't notice a drop in sales, so that's good. Um, he didn't notice a drop since the shelter in place. Um, people are probably well, you know, still looking for good food. People are at home more, they're, they're cooking more and they're trying to get quality ingredients. So um, he credits the fish, he says the fish are preserving the jobs. <laughs> um, so, and uh, he says, um, he, he really likes helping um, the local fishermen. He, he hopes one day that he can cover all the coastal areas to help all the fishermen while simultaneously giving the general public a better understanding of seafood and sustainability. And, uh, and on top of that, he's excited for the future. When I asked him about his plans as, slow, as things slowly return back to normalcy, he explained very excitedly with three yeses. Um, I'm quoting him, yes, yes, yes. I am planning on opening a seafood shop, an education center with cooking classes and a history center here in San Diego. And Tommy has a YouTube channel. As you might have guessed, I'm playing some of his videos in the background. He's got hundreds of videos. There's a lot of great information on fishing, on preparing seafood, handling seafood, cooking seafood. Um, and, you know, it seems like he can fish any, like almost anything. He's done shellfish, um, you can see like white fish, everything. And I was asking him, is there a fish that you find particularly challenging to catch? And, um, he says it's the Louvar. Um, it's spelled L-O-U-V-A-R and um, it can grow up to five feet long and it can weigh over 300 pounds. Um, another thing that Tommy does, which I find quite interesting, is um, he's got a product called Uni Goop or Uni Butter. And let me show you real quick. Um, there it is behind me is uni goop, uni butter. Comes in tubes that you see behind me or um, at, in, in a bulk kind of jar, jug. Um, it's made out of sea urchin and it's a fish attractant. If you want to try it out, if you're, if you like fishing, you can find it at the local tackle stores. So um, yeah, that's basically what Tommy's been up to. Um, you, he frequents Tuna Harbor Dockside Market behind me. Um, if you want to find out uh, his whereabouts, um, where he's going to be at, what he's up to, he, he frequently updates his Facebook page. He doesn't have a website but um, he has Facebook, Instagram, and um, his Uni Butter is also has his own Facebook page. So um, I'll put up his information right here. So Facebook, Tommy the Fishmonger, hashtag SD Fishmonger for Instagram. Check it out, tons of great photos on there. And again, check out his YouTube page super informative. Um, he occasionally uploads a new video here and there and it's um, very, it's very cool. Uh, all right, that's it everyone. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.